Hello, hello. I am just looking at a specimen that I retrieved from the eastern crater of the La Palma volcano, one of the smaller craters. And um, here we have a sulfur encrusting on a piece of lava and lapilli that have been stuck on the lava. So let's see whether we get this in there right. So with a bit more light, you can see the yellowish colors. And this is the sulfur encrusting. And just here we've got the the reason why I've actually taken the sample here, we have a thin coating of uh, what looks like uh, formerly liquid sulfur. And um, this is not a very thick coating, but um, you get the idea that there was drops of sulfur. So this would have been potentially 250, 300 degrees hot when the sulfur was actually liquid. So the sulfur condensates is from hot vapors. And if they are several hundred degrees hot, the sulfur can actually condense as a liquid. So it's tiny little sulfur lava, if you will, droplets or lava flows. And here we get this rug into, into zoom, into focus quite well. So here you see that. So the rest of the rock is more thinly coated. And there's also some brown areas where the material was oxidized. But this, I think, is really, really nice to look at. And... Uh, Let's see when we turn it around here. There we see the sulfur coating on the other side. So not all of the sample was exposed, obviously. So here we have uh, the yellowish sulfur and the brownish area is more oxidized. And this was uh, likely sitting a little bit more in the ground and maybe there were some fractures, but this is not quite as uh, strongly coated with sulfur as the other side. So, and if we turn around, this here is the area with the lapilli that I mentioned at the beginning. So here we have lapilli that got stuck on this material and um, they got welded together with this lava block or bomb, whatever it was. And uh, there we see the original lapilli texture reasonably well. It's partly covered with um, sulfur. So there was infiltration of vapors into this crack or empty space where I broke it out and then here we have some tiny little crystallites let's see if I get them right here we have some sulfur crystallites in particular here so they're very small and uh, Here we are. So there may also be sulfates. I'm not entirely sure. They're not super yellow. So they're a little whitish. So more likely they're actually other supplements. But this is a vapor phase crystallization. This comes from the vapors and you see them here as well. So um, this is uh, what's happening at the crater rim right now. There's coatings of sulfurous materials forming sulfur elemental but also sulfates and uh, associated um, uh, minerals so here we have the crystallites again and i would have to test them in the lab for their exact composition but um, they're a little lighter in color than the the yellowish sulfur so uh, but they come from the vapor phase uh, the gas when it uh, percolates through it precipitates these tiny little crystals and it makes these wonderful coatings and it can actually as we said make um, little droplets of sulfur or if it's enough droplets, it makes even these somewhat liquid areas. And um, this was liquid sulfur. And we know this from other places on Iceland or in Indonesia from Kave Jain. I made a video about that. Um, there we have uh, tiny little liquid sulfur lava flows even. So um, this is a rather spectacular phenomenon. And here we have the other side. So I'll close with uh, just looking at these textures again here. You see the kind of uh, blobby areas of yellowish sulfur. Um, this is quite beautiful, I think. So So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope this was uh, um, a little bit of a useful impression from what's going on in the craters at La Palma right now. We have a lot of gas coming through and they change the rocks in their own way. And because there's no eruptive activity, these things are likely there to stay and build up rather than being removed by erosion from the tephras or the blasting that would happen during an eruptive situation. So the strange thing is this is actually a sign that the volcano has calmed down 
and that it's shutting down um, the fact that these form and stay there is a sign that the volcano is becoming less active rather than a negative sign. So thank you very much, all the very best, and uh, I hope um, to see you again very, very soon.